What up, what up, all my hashtag PVTers all over the country. Ojalá les gustó el show de Bobby Pulido. Este, Bobby called me about two days ago. Y me dice, Rock, ¿qué pasó? Se me habló Ricky Muñoz. I go, really? Le intocable? He goes, yeah. Este, and he told me that, you know, he appreciated what I, what I said on the interview. And I said, oh, that's cool, man. And so I went to the YouTube to see the interview. And, man, man there's some haters on there. And I told them, ¿sabes qué, Bob? No te mortifique los haters, bro. No te mortifique de ellos, bro. ¿Sabes qué, carnal? Esa toda madre que se están poniendo a engage y hablar de nosotros. Y, you know, por eso me gusta el programa este. Hay mucha gente que, you know, you all comment down there at the bottom and you say what you feel, you say what you want. You know, a mí me han vientado la madre. A mí también ahí. I mean, big time. I mean, I got some haters too, you know. Sometimes they don't like the way I'm interviewing. Like, I was getting some um, comments about, Hey, deja Bobby hablar, hasta nunca te caes tú, Rocky. Deja lo que hable y deja lo... Hey, this is a conversation. It's 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 an interview, pero también es una convers conversación. Y yo y Bobby nos conocemos desde hace mucho, you know, so... Tengo mucho que quiero hablar con él y pues lo más pronto que puedo meter la pregunta mejor, ¿verdad? Pero we all come from, me and Bobby come from like the same era. Uh, I'm older than him, ¿verdad? So I was in that, uh, in, in the radio scene, uh, but he was in the music scene way before me since he was a little kid, you know? So I'm just, uh, you know, but it's una conversación. And then I would see the show and I would see the interview and I was like, ¿Por qué chingado está hablando este vato, man? I mean, está toda madre la conversación. So, you know, I told Bobby, Bobby, ¿sabes qué, Bob? Don't worry about it, bro. Just enjoy the, 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 the content. The, the interview was great. And, uh, and, and another thing that I need to let all of you know, you know, because there were some comments there that Bobby's arrogant and, and he's acting arrogant with rock and he's not doing this with rock. Bobby, cuando llegué yo y, and this is something you all know, don't know. This is something that you all, this is behind the scenes, off the record, but I won't let you know. Because I already talked to Bobby and I told him I was going to let you all know. Cuando llegué al trophy room de Bobby Pulido. And he looked at me and goes, Chinga Rock, I'm getting sick, dude. And uh, and I was actually thinking of calling you to cancel. Pero sabes que yo soy palabra de hombre, Rock. He, you know, I didn't call you and I went ahead and let's do this and let's do the best we can. Y dije, sabes que, bro, muchas gracias, Bob. Te lo agradezco, chingos, bro. So nos sentamos y... That's why in some of the video, in some of the interview, Bobby looks a little flustered, like ansioso and like, you know, like, because he wasn't feeling good at all. He was coming down with an illness. And now that we see all this going on, right? I was like, I told Bobby, Bob, you know what, dude, you were, you know, people don't know and don't realize because we didn't m make it known on the interview that you were under the weather. And he, he said, yeah, man, well, and I said, look, you know what, Bob, you was it on post-interview YouTube show, and I'm going to explain to people. Now, we talked about it, and I told him, dude, oh, yeah, I was thinking about all this coronavirus stuff, and then you're there, you were getting sick, and, you know, he goes, Saske Rock, I had a cough that I couldn't shake off for like a month. I went to the doctor, they gave me some medicines, and I went back two days later. And told him, you need to give me something else because this ain't working. And I right away asked about his dad. You know, hey, tu jefe, carnal, y tu mamá. I mean, they're, your dad's in like almost 70, up what I or 70 some. And then your baby and, and, and your wife. He goes, nobody got nothing. I didn't give them, they didn't get sick. And, and uh, you know, I was, I isolated, he said, I isolated myself in my in a, one of the bedrooms at my dad's house. Uh, for about three, three or four nights, because I didn't want to sleep with my wife and the baby, because I didn't want to get them sick, and uh, so nobody got sick. And Bobby, you know, obviously right now, if he was like that, he'd probably get tested for coronavirus. But back then, it wasn't a big thing yet, so he didn't get tested, so he doesn't know if it was that or not. But whatever it is, thank God that he got better and that he's feeling good and he's feeling awesome. And I just want to thank Bobby. Uh, you know, from the bottom of my heart and, you know, I thank him for doing my show and taking the time to open the doors to his pad and letting us go in there with the cameras and hang out with him and talk about 
everything straight up, you know, no sugar coating, nothing. And that's the kind of interviews I like. I want to be honest. I want to be fair and I want to be real. And that's what it's all about. Real. What interested me when Bobby called me was that Ricky Munoz called him, you know, Ricky Munoz from Intocable called him and told him, hey, man. And I saw right off the bat, I said, a la madre, Ricky Munoz is checking out hashtag PVT. <laughs> wow. And so, uh, you know, Bobby said, cuando le dijo Ricky, hey, gracias por decir lo que dijiste, Bobby, y esto lo otro. Y Bobby said that he told Ricky, pues ahora sí, sigues tú a dejarte caer, carnal, qué onda. And, uh, and so I said, well, dude, you know what? Give Ricky my number. Let's get together. Let's sit down, man, because I'd love to learn his story, man. I'd love to hear his story. And... Um, and then Bobby said, pues ya, ahorita como está todo el pedo, I mean, it ain't going to be able to happen soon because everybody's in quarantine or, you know, house, house arrest or whatever the hell you want to call it with this virus. And then my wife calls me today and tells me that a fan of hashtag PVT from El Paso called the Whiskey D booking number, the one that I always put there on the bottom right that's 956-641-3241, that number. So a fan calls from, from El Paso, all excited. Hey, hey, uh, can I talk to Rock? Can I talk to Rock? And my wife was like, no, well, he's not here. And, well, no, it said Ricky Munoz uh, was on his Instagram live, and he mentioned PVT and Bobby Pulido and all that. And I was like, what? So my wife was like, called me up and told me about it. And well, what did I do? I went to Ricky Munoz's Instagram and I found the part where he talks about it. So here you go. Luis Enrique Arambula, soy de Guadalajara y llegué al Valle hace 11 años y puedo decir que tus discos son los únicos que se escuchaban de Norteño Fresón por ahí en esos tiempos, Intocable y Bobby Pulido. Ya que mencionas a Bobby Pulido, si alguien lo conoce, le mando un saludo a Bobby Pulido. Acaba de hacer una entrevista con Rock and Roll James. Ahí debe estar en YouTube. PVT se llama increíble, de hecho le escribí a Bobby personalmente porque lo que dijo fue puras verdades y, 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 y es un artista que respeto, me gusta, saludos a Bobby Pulido Oh man, and so I'm like, ojalá que se pase este virus de volada, así me subo en mi tour bus y le pongo pasapata y I'll hang out with Ricky Muñoz for a while or wherever he's at, I don't care if he's in San Antonio or Dallas, I'll cruise up there and we'll take the hashtag PVT cameras and have a sit down with him. Can you imagine the stories that Ricky Muñoz has? That guy is an incredible performer, an incredible artist, and he's just an amazing musician and arranger and songwriter. I mean, this guy has been to the moon and back. So, ojalá, I want you all to go ahead and comment down there what you think. And then if uh, if you haven't subscribed, pues pégale el subscribe y a la campanita si cuando I upload something, you get it right away, okay? And be sure to go to the Patreon and pledge some, uh, you know, $25. You get a shirt. If you pledge anything less than that, como quiera, toma down los stickers and I'll send you some stuff. And you'll also be eligible for the two monthly prizes that I give away to the Patreon pledges uh, and Patreon supporters from hashtag PVT. So, muchas gracias. You all stay cool, chill out, relax. Let's let this, uh, this, this illness, virus, or whatever, que se nos pase, y vamos a abrir las tiendas otra vez, because we need to make a living here, and we need to keep the economy going, because the United States of America is the greatest country in the entire world, and we're going to come out of this, and we're going to be banging all over the place. Ya sabes, hashtag PVT, papa, sustame one time. Eso.